YouTube lad, this is your girl Mimi88, and I'm back with another video. Let me tell you, you know it's something when you can dance and you don't need no music. You just... Okay! <laughs> anyway, you guys, this is your girl Mimi88, and I'm back with another video. Yeah, I'm back with another video. To all of my family, my juicy baby gang gang clan down now, honey. You guys, thank you for the ones who have sent me emails, for the ones who have called me and texted me and have been wondering why have I been missing. Your girl been all over the place, okay? From moving to over here to over there to over here. And I'm not completing nothing. Do you hear me? <laughs> I'm I'm doing, saying I'm doing a lot of stuff, but I ain't doing nothing. I am just floating with the next thing. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I'm coming in today because I want to show you how I make my roll-on essential oil perfume. And it is very easy. It is very simple. It is something that you can do yourself. Um, yeah, like I said, I haven't uploaded in about three months. And I said it's time for me to upload, y'all, because I want my YouTube channel. Let's be clear here. I want my YouTube channel to grow and I do want to get monetized. So I have to put in time and put forth an effort in my videos in order for them to be right and be correct. So I'm behind the scenes learning a lot of different stuff. I'm trying to learn how to share my screen. I'm trying to learn as much as I can. It gets a little frustrating, especially when you're new to this. So y'all just bear with me and y'all might see me come out here flipping out one day. It's okay. That's just a part of the experience, the experience with Mimi 88. So I'm not going to waste no more time and I'm going to get right into this video. Okay, we're going to jump right into this video. I told you I was going to show you how I make my essential oil roll-on perfumes. All right, you want to have some squeezable droplet finger majiggers. I don't know what they call these, but that's what I call them. Squeezable, droppable, droplet finger majiggers. So you want to make sure you have those, and you want to make sure that you have one for each fragrance and also one for your carrying oil. And you want to make sure that you do not get those mixed up. The second thing is you want to make sure that you have a good carrier oil. And the carrier oil could be any oil. It could be um, sweet almond oil. It could be grapeseed oil. Whatever oil it is that you chose to use on your skin. And when it comes to these products, Whatever you can eat, you can put on your skin. Now, I'm not telling you to go fry no chicken and have chicken everywhere all on your skin. That's not what I'm saying at all. But what I'm saying is if you're able to eat it, then you should be able to put it on your, skins with, your skin with no problem. Now, I'm not telling you to eat the essential fragrance or don't eat it. If you do, that's your ass. I don't know what's going to happen. Really don't even care because I'm going to think you're crazy. All right. And then you want to have your roll-on bottles of your choice. They have many different sizes. This is the size that I use, and this is the size that I like. And you also want to make sure if you have dried flowers, you want to put dried flowers in there just for color and just for, you know, oh, it's so cute. If you want to do that, do that as well. Like I said before, try not to get anything mixed up. All right. Now, the difference between essential oil and essential fragrance oil is essential fragrance oil is made up from multiple regular essential oils. Essential oils are extracted from flowers or plants, okay, that go through this whole scientific method and the oil is extracted from them and then several different types of oil will make a fragrance. Any fragrance that you use comes from essential oil, well, essential, yeah, essential oil from plants. All right. So now that you've had the, um, now that you've got your fragrance of your choice, and this is essential oil fragrance from Candle Science. Um, I love Candle Science because when I make my candles, it has my whole home booming. However, I do go to the dollar store, and this came from Five Below, and I have one from the dollar. I have some from the dollar store, but I also go to Five Below. They have good essential oils and for a cheap price. So this is for my Juicy Clan gang, gang babies that just like to smell good on a budget. And you can have this for over a year, more than a year. And you can smell lovely at, at all times instead of spending 
I'm frugal, so I don't want I can't spend fifty dollars, sixty dollars per perfume or cologne. However, I have, I just don't because I don't have the money to do so. And I'm a stay-at-home mom. That's really none of your damn business. I'm just letting you know that you can smell good all the time. You can smell like money. You can look like money. And ain't got ain't nobody got to know that your uh that that, that your bank account is in the negative. Okay. Okay. Anyway, and also with this right here, you can buy this with your EBT. Okay? I'm going to say it again. You can buy this with your EBT, aka food stamps. Yeah, from Walmart. Okay? You can put this on your skin and also go and fry some eggs and some bologna with crispy black sides that's how i like my bologna and egg sandwich do you hear me it be so good and then i put mayo on both sides of the bread and then i put ketchup on it because i like ketchup on my eggs and baby i will eat that sandwich alive anyway that was sidetracked for a minute <laughs> anyway so after you have got everything that you need then you want to, if you want to use um, dried flowers, you will go ahead and put your dried flowers in. I suggest put your dried flowers in be the first thing you do. Some people will put um, the oils and stuff in and then try to throw a couple of flowers in. It's, it's your choice. It's your creation. You have a creative mind. You have to do what works best for you. I'm going to put mine in first and I'm not going to put too many in. And you want to be able to make sure that you know the difference between your oils. So, I have two um, different types of oil and I'm going to make two different types of things. So, for my um, cherry blossom, I am going to use... A orange leaf so I'm you know aware of what I'm doing and you just gonna drop your flower or whatever you're doing in just like this you're gonna drop it in now okay you might have to use tweezers or something to push it down I don't anymore I just kind of you know like that okay and then for my um Pink sugar crystals, I want to use something with a little pink in there. I'm going to use this rose petal. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. That way I can tell them apart and you can too. It's up to you however you want to do it here. If you want to mix all the fragrances up and smell like a food, then that's you. That's your creation. But for mine, this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Now, after you, after you have established all of that, let me put this up because, see, I've been knocked all of this over. I'm so clumsy, y'all. But, yeah, you don't have to um, pay $50 and $60 per bottle of perfume when you can just make your own perfume at home, okay? So, now I've gotten that aside. You want to make sure, I think I said that already, that you keep your um, uh squeezable droplet things separated okay for each fragrance you gonna have one and you're gonna also have one for your Karen oil now do not get it mixed in with your carrying oil and don't get it mixed up because if you use this for your business or something like that you don't want people to be smelling pink sugar crystals and cherry blossom you feel me I mean it's all about the sense it's all about the smell I know sometimes we just you know whatever anyway you know, like I said before you don't have to go to candle science to get essential oils you can go to the dollar store and get uh, the dollar essential oils if that's what you want to do I mean it's your choice it's this is your creation so do whatever it is that makes you happy all right now to this 10 milliliter bottle of essential oil and i may get some flack about it because um people do it different methods and different things this is just what i do for me okay so this is 10 milliliter bottles i am going to use three milliliters of essential oil in my bottles okay and I'm going to start off with my pink, no, I'm going to start off with my cherry blossom, okay? 
Cherry blossom is gonna be this vial right here. Okay, I'm gonna get it. And if I fill this all the way up, this is going to give me about three. Well, I'm going to fill it up to the three. This is going to give me three milliliters of essential oil. And that should be about 25 drops. Okay. It does not matter what you put in first. Okay. And then I'm going to set this to the side because I'm done with this. And I don't want to get it cross-contaminated. And I'm done with this, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it up. This right here is my pink sugar crystals from Candle Science. And I love pink sugar crystals. It was a new fragrance. And I got it when they had it. And baby, I, I like it. You hear me? My home smell good. I smell good. All right. So, and I'm going to fill this also up to... Three milliliters. Well, I tell you what, because this is not doing right. Okay. I'm going to grab another one. See, I told y'all I was clumsy. I told y'all I was clumsy. I was going to drop something. So, I have to get another vial because, like I said, you do not want to get them mixed up. All right. And I'm going to fill this up to three. All right. And this is my pink sugar crystal. And remember, I put the rose in there so I know which one, which is which. Now that I have those in there, you can give it a swirl. It's your choice because you're going to swirl, shake it up, whatever you do at the um the end. All right, now I put those. Now that I put those up, I'm going to grab my carrier oil. And again, it does not matter what carrier oil you use as long as you can put it on your skin. Now, I'm not telling you to go get no Crisco, okay? And melt it down and then try to make it because it's just, it's just, it's just not going to work. <laughs> it's not. Now, you want to get your carrier oil and you want to finish it off with carrier oil, okay? And make sure you be careful when you putting it in so you don't touch the fragrance oil that is already in your roll-on bottle. But you want to go ahead and just fill it all the way up. Now, don't fill it all the way up to the rim. To, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in a minute. Okay. You're going to fill it all the way up like this. All right. All the way up. Okay. All right, so that one's down, and it's so pretty. And then let me go ahead and fill this one up. Okay. All right, and I'm almost done. There we go. And now... I am done. Okay. And then I'm going to put the rest of it away in there. Okay, like that. And then you can throw them away. Discard them. If you are using metal or glass, then you wash it. Do whatever it is, however it is you do it. And now that I've gotten this all out of the way, you're just going to take your roll-on bottle. And when you buy them in a box like this, it should come with this little thing that looks like a spinny fidget and you're able to press it down however i'm just gonna use my hands to press it down and i said be careful about how far you fill it up because you want to make sure that you get this in here without spilling oil all over the place and just having a whole oily mess going on here and then you're going to apply your tops to your essential roll on perfume and you're going to admire them and look at how beautiful they are and yes, those are gorgeous. You see those? They're gorgeous. So I have my pink sugar crystal and I also have my cherry blossom. And they just look amazing. That's why I like putting dried flowers in them. It makes them look good and it makes them stand out. 
Now, when you are making these for someone, you want to go ahead and label them. Now, I suggest so you don't get it mixed up. You put a piece of paper down and you put your pink sugar crystals here and you put your cherry blossom over here and write on the paper which one is which so you do not mix them up unless you color coordinate it so you know what you are um, going to be giving someone, selling someone or whatever it is that you're doing. And then also when you are messing with essential oils and essential fragrances, you want to make sure that your place where you do your stuff is well ventilated. I live in a tiny little home yes this is my little home and i love it and um i like to open up my screen door and have my fan pointing outwards so the scent is going out and i put my children away so they won't be sniffing this stuff and having any headaches and i let it air out and then another thing if you are making multiple bundles um, of essential roll-on perfumes for someone, then you can sit outside and do it. Therefore, all of the fumes won't be just all over the place, making your eyes hurt, making your ass hurt, and everything else hurting. Excuse my French, but you guys, if you have enjoyed this video, I ask that you like and you comment down below. If you have not subscribed yet, I ask that you do so now. Please don't hesitate to email, call, or text me if you have my information. And also, please remember to be kind to everyone and do not show hate. And look at this beautiful outcome. Oh, they are so beautiful. Look, okay. Yes, and I get so many compliments. I was like, girl, you smell so good. What is this? And I always reach into my purse because I always have some essential oil. Every time I've been making candles and essential oils, I always have some. And also, at the end, not before the beginning, but at the end, after you have made your batches or however many batches you've made for people, you want to make sure that you take some alcohol and you wipe all of your bottles down so that there is no oil on them. Because if you have labels like I have myself, you would take your label and you will put it on a bottle. But if it has oil on it, it will not stick. I have learned from experience. And on that label, you want to make sure you have your contact information. And also you want to make sure that you have the name of that fragrance. And you want to be able to tell people what is in your fragrance. So if you don't know the name of it or you can't figure it out, Google it, honey. And uh, what's her name? Siri. She gonna let you know, okay? Siri gonna let you know how to pronounce that, okay? So it's all right if you don't know how to pronounce it. It is what it is because I've experienced that several um, times. So, and, when you, and like I said, you want to be able to tell people what you have in this fragrance. So make sure that you have your contact information and your the name of your fragrance and remember what fragrance it is just in case you give it another name like this one is named naked this is caribbean queen and um this naked so this is caribbean queen and vanilla mixed and I named it Naked. You hear me? Because it smells so good when you naked. <laughs> just playing, just playing, I'm just playing. So, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, be sweet.